If you're looking for some cheap muck coins and you want it delivered to you as fast as possible, head on over to GoBuyMMO.com. Use code CK for a 6% discount. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. Now, the NFL draft is right around the corner. But this video right here is going to take a look back at some of the draft picks we've seen in the past. We have a wheel of all 32 picks in each and every round. And for every single position, we will spin this wheel and whatever it lands on, we can take that number and it can be any round one through seven. Luckily, my boy Clayton helped me out and gave me this website so I don't have to do too much research. All I have to do is spin the wheel, get a pick and enter it into this website and I'll know exactly who I have a chance to choose. So we will begin with the quarterback as per usual, man. This is going to be tough. Obviously, I would love the first overall pick, but that's not going to happen, man. You're going to land on pick number 13. <laughs> So in a case like this, we just going to spin again. Eventually, we will get a quarterback, man. Every other position is not going to be this difficult. But like quarterbacks are, you know, very, very tough to find. But I guarantee there's a good one that got drafted at number two. Before the current Eagles quarterback was selected at number two, another Eagles quarterback was selected at number two. I'm going with Donovan McNabb. All right, let's move on to the running backs, man. Every single pick will stay up on his board even after it's selected because every single position is different, man. Let's move on and see which number we will be looking at for the running back position number 16. When 16 ain't enough. You gotta spin again, man. As you can see, none of these running backs are in much. So uh yeah, let's try this again. Come on, man. Please, please, number 12. I'll take that. Let's just say I'm about to go. Beast mode. Beast mode. Smoke. One running back down, one remaining. Let's spin it again, man. Hopefully, we land on a number that has a bona fide superstar, bona fide stud in Mutt right now. We're going to be taking number 15. Yes, we got lucky with this one, man. Melvin Gordon could easily be our running back number one. Time for the pass catchers. This one might be the easiest to fill out, man. They're, they were taking that one, two, three, four, every single number. I can guarantee it, man. I'm just hoping we get some good ones. We're going to start with number 14. What did I say? Hey man, Devontae Parker is going to be our first wide receiver. Let's move on. Three wide receivers remaining. That's a very nice start, though, man. That guy can do it all. He just needs a little bit more touches, man. Number five. That's not bad at all. Corey Davis, the speedster from Tennessee, is going to be our second wide receiver up on the squadron, man. Let's move on. Two more remaining. So far, so good. Haven't had to respin yet, so I'm hoping we can keep that good luck going. Number 13. Lee Evans was a beastly deep threat back in the day, but uh, obviously he's not in the game right now, so we're going to have to respin. Damn, I think I jinxed myself on that last spin by saying we didn't have to respin because now we're respinning and uh, it's a lot of inception going on. Number 22. So the Marius one at number 22. Wow, that's actually pretty shocking. The dude has had a pretty freaking good career. And the last wide receiver being added to the team was selected as at number one no we were so close number 32 i'm actually curious to see which wide receivers are drafted this late okay nobody good you really do hate to see it man we were so close to number one could you imagine the possibilities oh our team would be op but instead our last wide receiver was drafted at number 16 i just have one thing to say about this selection more bien more bien jerry rice the goat Let's get it, man. All right, we are almost done with the offense, man. Two tight ends, and we can wrap it up and move on to the defensive portion, man. Oh, it's going to be a very high draft pick. There has to be a tight end taking number one. There was, but back in 1960, we're going to have to spin again. Can you believe that? That has to be one of the only positions where a number one draft pick was not like a Hall of Famer, was not currently in the league or something. I don't know, man. Number 25, please. Hayden Hurst, let's go. The young tight end from Baltimore. Come on, man. Give me a good tight end baby give me a really good one yes I i'm actually happy that I didn't land on number one number 29 david and jaku the speedster from cleveland let's go finally we are moving on to the defensive portion obviously we always start at the left end position there are a lot of great left ends that are taking high overalls especially in the top 20 so number 16 i think we can get lucky we keep getting blessed with great players man javon the freak welcome to the squad incredible start to the defense man i could not have asked 
asked for a better one, but now we're looking for a D tackle that was taken in the top 10, specifically at number seven. Holy crap, there were some amazing defensive tackles and D linemen in general taken at the number seven pick. But we have to go with Brian Young, the ultimate legend. One D tackle down, and honestly, I don't understand how we're getting such a good start on the defensive end, but I am very happy about it, man. We're gonna be taking a guy that was selected 32nd in any round. Okay, you can't win them all. You know, we got Malcolm Brown. He's a good player, he just doesn't have a great card. Final position on the defensive line, man. I'm hoping we just get a decent player. Not asking for a superstar, just asking for a serviceable right end. Pick number 29 in any round. I'm honestly not too mad about this, man. He's easily our lowest overall card on the D line, and I'll take that. Moving on to the linebackers, starting with the left outside linebacker, man. Where did Von Miller go? Did he? He had to go top 10, didn't he? But we're going to be taking number 14 in any round. We go with Thomas Davis, the free agent. All right, three linebackers still we need to add to the squad, so I'm hoping we get some good ones, man. Can we get his teammate, Luke Heakley? Okay, number 22 in any round. My bad, I meant his former teammate, and that doesn't matter because we're getting Bud Dupree as our left outside linebacker. Two linebackers remaining, and I'm hoping... Uh, it's some pretty decent MLBs, at least one or two with speed. Just just one, okay, that's all I'm asking for. One that was picked at number nine in any round. We have three amazing players to choose from. Erlacher, Buckus, Keekly. How am I supposed to decide? All right, so now it doesn't matter who we get at the other MLB position, but he could be a bum for all I care, man. We're gonna have one filthy linebacker and we might get another one at number eight. I swear, man, you land in the top 10 and good things tend to happen. We're going with Roquan Smith, but now we just need to fill out the secondary man the secondary is very important we need some speedsters we need some guys that can cover start with a cornerback that was taken at number 27 we can take any one of those guys and once again it's going to be a last second decision i don't know who we're adding yet let's just move on we need three more cornerbacks to be added to the squad bro i'm just so excited this team is going to be ridiculous we're going to take a cornerback that was taken at number five <laughs> Y'all gave me Ramsey or Pat Peterson? That's all I need, man. Two filthy cornerbacks. Now, I don't care who we get. We're going to get one that was taken at number 10. See, the problem with the defense being so good is that it's so expensive, which is why I'm going to have to pass up on Rod Woodson. Huge honorable mention, but we're going to have to go with Stephon Gilmore instead. All right, well, now we only need one more cornerback. I could care less who it is. Just hopefully there is a cornerback currently in the league selected at number 24. Any of those guys can be added to the squad i'll figure it out when i'm putting the team together one free safety one strong safety as long as you're a safety that was selected at number five you can be added to the team eric berry or sean taylor i haven't made up my mind yet and one more spin for the hell of it man this will be the other safety playing alongside one of those absolute beasts and he was taken at number 14 in any round malcolm jenkins and earl thomas both taken at number 14 and once again i'm gonna have to sit down and think about this see you guys soon so after two hours we are finally done putting these squads together man i had to go ahead and power up some of these cards but team is looking beautiful we are still only an 89 overall our highest overall this entire year is still a 90 not to mention we're rocking the new outfit okay the seahawks color rush and we have house rules okay this is new so does this mean if you get down inside like the five you're gonna lose five yards on purpose and then try to score a touchdown i don't know what this means but it's gonna be very interesting okay first and ten he's dropping back with john elway uh, he's going over the middle. That's an interception, Thomas Davis. Diving for that one. Okay, I'm going to go down around the, the, the 15. I feel like there should be, like, something green on the screen, you know, besides the grass. So we know exactly where the green zone is. But, uh, oh, God, look at this. Why is he making it so easy? That's 12 points. Defense has a bunch of legends on it. I'm going to use one of those legends, Sean Taylor. Okay. Not sure what this play call is. Oh, he might have someone deep, though. Never mind. Uh, go ahead and get the quarterback, bro. I don't know if this guy's a noob. He's he he might be a noob, people. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and hit that rage quit button. I don't think he was expecting a team as good as mine. Okay, this should be a much more even matchup. Having a lot of fun with this Raiders playbook so far. He's gonna have somebody in motion. And uh, we have that clamped up, baby. Okay, but then Jerry Rice says, I'll get some yards anyways. He just chose the wrong time to go to man defense. And now he's gonna have a manageable third and three on his hands. Have to put a spy up for Mr. Young. And uh, hopefully we can get off the field, baby. Come on. Nobody's open. Nobody's open. Go get him. I sent the spy. Come on, please. Ah, the spy was too fat. The good news, he's not in between the 10 and the 20. Bad news, third and seven, and he's in scoring range. So uh, he could still get a touchdown. He could still get three points. I mean, a lot of things can still happen. Javon Curse is going to be the spy this time. 
And we got the big hit, Sean Taylor. Let's go. That's why you get 95 overall, Sean freaking Taylor, one of the best to ever do it. Laying the lumber down and forcing him to take his three. Here comes a first and 10. We're starting with a halfback. Stretch to the left side. Let's go. Beast mode. Beast mode. Come on, baby. Beast mode. Let's go. What a run. This time we have Melvin Gordon in the backfield. See if he can get some yards on the ground. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Melvin Gordon found his blockers. Getting us another first down. He's still on his feet. Melvin Gordon, what a run. If I expect this dude to know football, he should know that I probably want to go ahead and run the football again. So I'm going to go to play action. Play action deep outs is the call. And, uh, ah, he sent the blitz. Nice job. Well, now we're in the second and 18. Jerry Rice in motion. And uh, X is wide open. X is wide open. Hayden Hurst off to the races. We're going to take the lead. Just like that. He's moving the ball just a little bit. Okay, we went to man defense, though. I think we might have everything covered up except for that dude right there. Jimmy Smith just a little bit too slow. Some tells me he's just trying to get in between the 10 to 20, which is obviously, you know, the point of this house rule. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see a run with the quarterback. I'm calling it right now. A run with the quarterback or a dump off pass right here. Yes, he's not inside the green zone. Hey, he's not going to get 12. That's all I care about. First down right up the gun. Oh, big hit by Dupree. And I don't even think that's his highest overall card, bro. If you have the coins, get his combine. That's all I'm going to say. Right, here comes a second goal. He's going to the freaking pass. I saw it. I just had the wrong play call. So what I remember from the first half is that this dude has trouble stopping the run, which a lot of people do. So, uh, you know, it's nothing to be ashamed about. Here comes a run. To start off the second half, beast mode with a solid game. My number one read is the running back on this play right here. On third and six, I'm looking for Melvin Gordon right up the seams. See if you can get this first down for us. Actually, circle, I see you. I see you with a bullet, Devontae Parker. McNabb, I need another bullet from you. Corey Davis, the speedster, is going to be in motion to the right side. Verticals is the play call. And uh, let's see who's open. Let us see who's open. Nobody, damn it. I'm going to get sacked. Unfortunate end to the drive, but uh, you know what? Defense is going to make a play. We have reached the fourth quarter, and still, defense has not made a play yet. I'm just waiting. Hopefully, it happens soon. Comes a second and three. Watching the middle of the field with Buckus. He's going underneath. Oh, we couldn't stop him. He's going to be running the football, and that's going to be an easy touchdown. Okay, maybe not. He's down at the five. Let's go, man. Dupree with the sack. Only problem is that now if he scores, he's going to have 12 points added to the board and the game might be out of reach. So this is a huge play. Third and goal. Let's go. Go get him, baby. Javon with his second sack of the game. Here we go, boys. Less than two minutes left in this ball game. I need a game-winning touchdown drive from Donovan McNabb. Let's see if he has it in him. Let's see if he has it in him. X is wide open. Who's man? It's going to be a second and 19. Same exact play call. This time we have Jerry going through the seams. Jerry through the seams. Let's go, Jerry Rice. Hold on to the ball. Oh, man. If I was just a little bit quicker with the trigger, things might be a little bit different right now. But, uh, yeah, it's probably over. Fourth and 27. Bruh. And that's going to be the game. First time I tried house rules, ended up taking a W and an L. But, uh, you know, I had fun. GG's to my opponent. He played better game than me, man. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the squad butter. Please, can we reach 600 likes? That's all I'm asking for, man. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you're new around here. And that's for me.